April 1854 in Nancy, France. His father was a professor of medicine at the university in Nancy. His mother treated him when he fell ill from a very serious case of diphtheria as a child. The Poincaré family was a very influential family, producing many powerful figures. They had a lot of money and proved to be a family of great distinction. Henri Poincaré's cousin, Raymond Poincaré, was Prime Minister of France several times and President of the French Republic during World War I. In 1862, Henri entered the Lycée in Nancy and turned out to be the top student in every subject he studied. He won first prizes in many academic competitions and was described by his math teacher as a monster of mathematics. Poincaré went on to receive his doctorate in mathematics from the University of Paris in 1879. Immediately after receiving his doctorate, Poincaré was appointed to teach mathematical analysis at the University of Caen. He was not that good at it given his disorganized teaching style. After two years of teaching, Poincaré was appointed to a chair in the prestigious Faculty of Science in Paris in 1881. In 1886, Poincaré was nominated for the Chair of Mathematical Physics and Probability at the Sorbonne. He held on to these positions until his death at the age of 58 in July 1912. Now, on to Henri Poincaré's conjecture. In its original form, it states that every simply connected, closed three-manifold is homeomorphic to the three-sphere. What does this mean? Well, simply connected space means the space has no holes. A football is simply connected, but a donut is not. A closed space means that the space is finite and has no boundaries. A sphere is closed, but the plane is not because the plane is infinite. A manifold means that at every small neighborhood on the space, it approximates Euclidean space. Basically, a sphere is called a two-sphere because it is actually a two-manifold. Continuing this logic, the one sphere is a circle. A three sphere is very difficult to visualize because it has a 3D surface and exists in 4D space. Homeomorphic means that if one space is homeomorphic to another, you can continuously deform the space into the other. The two sphere and a football are homeomorphic. The two sphere and a donut are not. No matter how much you deform a sphere, you can't get that hole in the donut because the hole was never there and the sphere in the first place. Now that we know what these terms mean, we can explain. A two-sphere has a property where a rubber band encircling it can be pulled tight to one spot. In the process, the rubber band can slip along the surface and does not leave the surface at any time. But what about a donut? If you put a rubber band through the center, it cannot be shrunk to a single point without cutting through part of the donut or leaving the surface of the object. The same thing happens if you put it around the outer edge. Therefore, this makes the surface of the two sphere simply connected, but the surface of the donut is not simply connected. Poincaré knew that a two-dimensional sphere is essentially characterized by this property of simple connectivity and asked the corresponding question for the three-dimensional sphere. There have been many attempts at proofs of this conjecture in the math world. One day, a document appeared online. It was a proof for Thurston's geometrization conjecture, which is a whole nother story. The math community jumped on it, looking for mistakes. No mistakes could be found in this several chapter proof. It completely proved the Poincaré conjecture, a consequence of proving Thurston's geometrization conjecture. Then, the question was, who wrote it? The proof was written by Gregory Perelman. Perelman is a Russian mathematician who solved the Poincaré conjecture in 2003. It was confirmed in 2006 that he had done it. Perelman was offered the Fields Medal. He declined, stating, I'm not interested in money or fame. I don't want to be on display like an animal in a zoo. In 2010, it was confirmed that Perelman had met the criteria to receive the first Clay Millennium Prize. It also came along with the prize of $1 million. He declined both again. 
He is aged 50 today, and it has been rumored that he has dropped mathematics completely. This conjecture was pondered for years and years until Gregory Perman came along. It is very complicated material and a very incredible feat to accomplish. Thank you.